I'm Pat. And I'm Maria. And this, this is, is NF, NF Geeks. Geeks. Love All right. edition. Yes. So, um, anytime I have a couple in my presence, an <laughs> NF couple, especially an NF couple, because um, those are always very interesting. <laughs> Romantic couples, you know, and I like, uh, you know. Interesting is a good choice of words. Yes. Um, I always like to have them both on now and try to have a discussion uh, about being an NF and love and the relationship and all that. So, uh, so I guess I, what I wanted to ask you guys about is um, what words come to mind when you, just, when you think of your relationship with each other? <laughs> oh, dear. Bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, well, we, we try to figure out what makes us work because we've known each other for gazillions of years. Mm -hmm. We honestly, we, we don't know what it is. We know we like each other a lot and we make each other laugh. And when we say really weird shit, it's like, yeah, that's, that's right. Well, well, that's part of it. You know, we sort of understand the language that... We're both speaking. Sure. And, and no one else does. Right. And that's a very <laughs> NF relationship experience, that you're speaking NF to each other. And, um, which is... Yeah. Yeah. Maria has, you know, several bizarre languages of her own. <laughs> but somehow I can understand what she says. Yeah. Well, hopefully on an NF, that's why it's being translated through NF. <laughs> the NF vibe is, is helping you with the, mm -hmm. the opposite side of it. Well, one thing... If it, and you can see if the, how close this resonates. One theory about these things, about the types, mm -hmm. is that now you, you're an INFP, and you're an INFJ. Mm -hmm. So first, you're both NFs, you're both introverts, but the last function is opposite. So a, and this is kind of simplistic, but what seems to happen sometimes in those relationships is that you start from the same point, you go through the same process, but you land on different points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And um, it, it, I think it might be more frustrating for the J. Because the P lands on different points all the time. Oh my gosh, yes. And I'm like, why right? aren't you yeah, with right? me on that? See, you know and, what I mean? You know, Does it, that make sense? It will flip-flop from like day-to-day, week-to-week. Right. And we are never on the same page never about anything. Never on the same page. But right. It, and it's not like it's a source of tension. It's just like, no, because we have weird lives. How is this working? Even like with our work schedules, it's like we so rarely see each other during the daytime hours, yet it works. Yeah, and that's what the... And the what the idea is, is that you guys, you know, you're both introverted NF, so you're actually um, starting off from the same point, sort of. You know what I mean? You so mm -hmm. you not exactly have the same functions going in the same directions, but the, you're, you're sort of starting off at the same point with the same values, because you all have NF values, okay? But the final result is always different. <laughs> For the P. It's always different. Your final result is probably more predictable. Well, for, well, what do you think, Pat? It depends on if I'm predicting what I'll do or what he'll do or what we'll both do. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not so much that what the outcome is, but that you would be making a clear decision. Whereas Pat's not going to be making a clear decision. No. That's true. Yeah. And if, But sometimes I feel if I'm making decisions, I may not be clear on why I'm making them. Well, of course not. You're an INFJ. You can possibly, you know, you're channeling the force and, like, you know. And it can be very frustrating, I think, when... I'm trying to get input from him about, mm -hmm. say, like, an activity or, like, let's go on a vacation. So he's like, honey, you, you pick. And I'm like, but what do you want to do? Well, whatever you want to yeah, do. Yeah, that's right. No, that's... no, no, no. What do you want to do? No. Like, whatever you pick will yeah. be fine. Okay, so if we go, like, seal slugging, that will be totally fine. No, it wouldn't be if, fine no, for anyone No, that's what you would like to do, then. But we no, would okay. never do that. All right, but that's why <laughs> you're right. Okay. We would never do that. Well, that's why a judger, see, you have to actually make that choice as the judger. Perceivers can't. Because then halfway through, we'll be like, oh, we could have been, you know, rollerblading. Oh, no. But, and, like... And then we'll be rollerblading, like, oh, we, yeah. look, we could have had pizza. No, like, we can't. And it's terrible. really annoying because I'm like, I want to not make decisions and be a little lazy. And you get to be all the lazy. And I have to do all the decisions. And then yeah. I get really whiny if he You're doesn't, right. like... You get your laser beam out. Yeah, like the... <laughs> and I focus on, like, why yeah. won't he... Tell me what we're going to do when we go to Vermont. Like, it's just, it's very frustrating where I have to come up with itineraries. And, it, and, and you put it like, you know, it's it's a treat for me yeah. to, to make all the decisions. And, and to oh, no, it's a misery. Everything. No, it's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, honestly, as a fellow perceiver, I, I don't like it. Either. I try to make decisions. It's decision, a miracle I make any decisions. I try to make decision makings that we both have to do as pleasant as possible because we both sure. hate doing it. So I try 
to do as much research that I can. I try to present so many different options that I feel like at least one or two would like entice him. And, and, and to her credit, she's very good at picking, at, you know, things that I would actually enjoy. Right, yeah. Of and so I, I trust you <laughs> to, to pick our activities. But at the same time, I want to yeah, know... Yeah, see, perceivers need judges. This but is I validates But I want to know what you want to do, because just because I know in the past, like, you like going on long hikes in the woods doesn't mean you necessarily want to do that when we go again, you know? Oh, yeah. Well... You know, moment to moment. Right. Yeah, so I try to pick, like, where is there enough room? Because for him, he wants spontaneity. And, like, sure, and that's very perceived. And flexibility. Right. Yeah. right. And for me, in order to be at my most creative and most flexible, I need to have a schedule to work with. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, you're because, very scheduled. Because right. Jays care about schedules. If and I don't lists, have a and, schedule, uh, a list, a frame to work with, I... Okay, so blank. why don't you just do that? And he'll just follow it. Like, he'll never even argue, right? If she, she had a list, you'd just totally go with but it. But he has a voice, and his voice shouldn't be... Right, but his like voice is whatever you want. Yeah. But I don't want that voice. Oh, okay. Maria, though. See, that's, like, it's it's a very... All right, as a perceiver, though, see, I have more empathy with Pat on this issue. <laughs> of because, course. Because I have these issues, too. I have mm -hmm. these exact same issues with people. Like, I, I'm very appreciative that he trusts my judgment and that yeah. I make good group decisions for us. But I want some input from him because things could change, okay. or he could know about a place that I've never been to or activity All right. I've never heard so, of. So I'm going to give some relationship advice. Then. Nice. And not relationship, not that I'm qualified, <laughs> but but it's something I believe in. Okay, is that the job of the perceiver is to list all possible options. Huh. Okay, so he, so when it's like, mm -hmm. what do you want to do tonight? And then you list them all. Okay, we can go to a movie. That's, we can do this. We do that's that. That's really we funny because you, know, you know one of the things I will do to. Um, sort of placate Maria when she's like, you know, what are we having for dinner? I'm like, well, we can have spaghetti, we can right. have pizza, we this can is have uh, goulash, we perfect. can have... Perfect. Uh, I will run down the list of yes. everything I think is in the pantry. Yes. And then Maria will say, well, just choose one of them. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, see, Maria, you're throwing this. All right. See, all right, so Pat's job, okay, Pat's job is to pick, make the list, uh -huh. and then your job is to shut up and let him make the list. <laughs> Okay, and so you make the whole, and look, it's perceiving, mm -hmm. so it could be yeah. like 15 items. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, now here's your turn. Your turn is to choose whatever one you think you want to do or is right, and your job is to just shut up yeah. and let her choose, and like, she says, okay, you know, skydiving, yep, that's <laughs> skydiving, that's it. Wow, see, that's terrible, because we don't, we're not good at making decisions, um, no, especially but like on the spot, we're just like, hey, whatever you want to do. Yeah, I, right. I think it might help, you know, phrasing the question as opposed to what are we going to have for dinner? It could be, what could we, we have, have for dinner? dinner? Right. I might be more inclined to answer that. Yes, what could right. we have? And that's his way of, and that could be his way of his voice. His voice is like, here are the options, mm -hmm. you know, and then you choose and it'll be fine. And he won't fight. <laughs> He'll be like, oh, thank God. Yeah, I right. don't have to make the decision. Right, exactly. I would feel the same way. And in the end, let's be honest, Maria, you do want to make the decision. Um, You'd be more, I mean, you do. I mean, you make decisions all the time. I do, but it gets very annoying sometimes. I know, the laser beam. I, you know, sometimes I just want someone to just present me a, here, we're doing this, get in the car. All right. You have your assertive fantasy. Yeah, I do. Uh -huh. I really well, do. Well, I know, that's a, I know, they all do it. That's a problem. But really, it's just, fat. you know. Because you had that problem. All right, but because what happens too, I don't know if you ever have this, um, but in order to make a decision, we do something impulsive. Impulsivity comes up, but it's not necessarily. Well, I maybe mean, this is me as a perceiver, but I find when I when I can't make a decision, I go with like an impulse. Yeah, and I just do it. just the best option of the moment. Like. I suppose it's not always actually the best option yeah. in the moment, but I may be thinking it is, or it's just like mm -hmm. okay, I just fuck it, I just want to do. It. No, yes. I think we do what the best option is for what's available at that time. I think we make good decisions. Like, we don't make terrible decisions. Sure. If we can't think of anything, well, oh, oh, fuck it, we'll do this. We'll just be like, okay, well, that is right there. So that restaurant is good, and it's healthy, and it's affordable. So we'll not cook. We'll go there, because it's right there. Mm -hmm. We know what to mm -hmm. expect. All right, let's, um... Instead of, like, going to the corner store and buying, like, 14 sure. pounds of Doritos and Slim Jims. Well, I don't know. That, that, sounds, that, sounds that would never, ever happen. What, um... Well, I don't know. I'd like it. But, no, not anymore. I'm, I'm feeling better. 
Um, what, um, what would, how would you describe your, the greatest strength of the relationship? Let's, let's talk positive. I see. What do you, what do you, it doesn't have to be the same strength. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think where we have the strength is, and probably people who know us might say it's not a strength, but I think that our nonverbal communication is the mm. strongest because we're not the best with words. <laughs> Especially when it comes to talking about issues. Sure. Even if they're like happy things, like we're not, we just, we have to deal with so much talking in our daily lives with other people and communication um, yeah. that when we're with each other, we love quiet time together. <laughs> like we can enjoy a silent moment for hours together and just be so content that that's all we need is just some silence. Sure. <laughs> that makes sense to me. One of the issues, and I shouldn't say issue, but when introverts are together, um, nobody talks. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, there's, so if things have to be silent. When two extroverts get together, nobody listens. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody's just talking. I know that from just me. You know, my, my world. And I feel like in that silent time that we have together, we're able to truly express how, how deep our love is for each other and how much we appreciate one another because we can just enjoy a silent moment and we don't need entertainment or loudness or, you know, like, we're enough entertainment for each other. (laughs) And even when we're silent, because still, like, you know, our tummies could be gurgling and make funny noises and we could just be giggling. Or, like, there are times when we both know we're thinking the same thing and nothing was said, we'll just start bursting out laughing. You know, often we'll get the same songs. Partner has. Oh, that's nowhere. great. That shows a real connection. Out of you. nowhere. And one of us will start humming it and we'll just start laughing. Like, how did you know that was in my head? And it's like always like the most obscure stuff. And, you know, so I think that's a strength of ours. Okay. And it's taken us years to understand that's a strength and to use that to our advantage when we're, you know, having to navigate through a situation. Instead of navigating it through words, we have other options. <laughs> I mean, right. I mean, the problem with this, though, is, you know, sometimes wires do get crossed. Oh, sure. We, Again, remember, you land on the, you know, <laughs> you always land on the different points. Pat, what do you think is the greatest strength of the relationship? Um, you know, I would largely or agree with what uh, Marie had said. Right. Unable um, to decide. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you said, honey, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> there's, you no, know, uh, in my relationship with Maria, there's always been a very accepting quality between the two of us. Um, you know, largely we are on the same page about things, but when, you know, when she's maybe more interested in something that I'm not, or I'm way into something and she, you know, is not quite as interested, there's still, you know, the appreciation of what the other person sees in that topic or that activity, um, which, you know, has been really useful. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, like, we're not the type that has to ask each other permission to go hang out with people or just do things on our own. It's like, you're your own person. Like, we understand we're our own people with our own lives and that we don't have to do everything together all the time. We value each other's private time. Like, Mm -hmm. there are days when we are cranky and we just need to be away from everyone and it has nothing to do with our, our partner. We just say, hey kind of in a bad mood, I'm just going to hang out in my space. And honestly, what I think works best for us is we both have our own spaces. Yeah, so I noticed. We both have our own rooms, and that's really important. Holy crap, is that really important to make our um, our, our stuff work well. Yeah, because right. As somebody that needs a lot of personal time with my own, it's, it's nice to have a partner that both respects that I need time to just cool off and recharge uh, and to also have a partner that needs that time on their own that you know I can respect that time that they need for themselves that's wonderful so we never Um, have arguments where we need time away it's usually sometimes we're both so overwhelmed that we'll both say to each other we haven't had enough time to ourselves I think we need to do that because we have such a very 
extroverted career. And for me, I also sure. have the, the added bonus of education. So we're constantly around people and noises and bright lights and sounds. And it's like, I'm very oversensitized. And so is he. So when oh, we're yeah. at home. Oh, yeah. That's very true about INFP, yeah, particularly. Yeah. You know, it's really appreciative to have someone who understands the that is absolutely super important to have separation time just to get yourself back. Because if we don't have that time, if we don't have a physical space that we can go to, we're crankosauruses to the max. We, <laughs> we are ugly people. And we, we like each other a lot. We sure. love each other a lot. And we want to enjoy each other's time together. So we need every single day our own space to go to. Great. Well, that's all the time we have, you guys. So good job. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.